guys what's up it's faith welcome back to another video um it's training week i'm off to cbu um to stay there for a week and then the next week we go to vegas for camp which i'll probably vlog as well that'll be really fun sorry if you can hear my dog he's whimpering he wants my dad to be home that's preston let's show you barney yes barney is named after the purple dinosaur because I got him when I was five and I was obsessed with Barney. Um, Preston I got a little bit later in life. Um, one of my mom's students, she's an elementary teacher and her student actually was moving and couldn't keep her dog anymore, sadly. And so we took him and so that's Preston. <laughs> um, anyways, oh my gosh, look at my neck. Can you see all these things? Those are scratches. <laughs> that you saw from the last video of that three-day shoot. It was such a pretty dress, but it had this collar and it was so tight and I was doing a lot of running in heels. It was like a lot of action scenes. And so therefore the dress, like the collar kept rubbing up and down. And now I just have like all these cuts, which is not feeling great, but hopefully they'll heal soon. Anyways, I am all packed and we are ready to go head to CBU and I think it's going to be a really fun week. I haven't seen my dance friends in quite a while. Um, we've been on summer for, let's see, we got out at the end of April, so like May, June, part of July. So it's really going to be exciting to go back to dance and see everybody and yeah, stay tuned. So here's the update. Um, I accidentally walked myself out. Um, I haven't been in a dorm in a while, so I kind of forgot that you can't leave your key in the dorm room or else you're gonna get locked out. And for this case, like I'm in a building, so I'm like locked out of the floor. Like I can't get into like multiple doors. And so anyways, I told the RA and she actually got locked out herself. So she's going to get a key for her room and then that key I think will also open mine so hopefully soon we'll be able to get going and unpack my dorm room. At least I'm early and I don't have practice until like it's 1030 right now and I don't start till like 145 I think. So at least we came prepared in our early but yeah just a little setback. <laughs> Okay, so I finished unpacking and I just got an acai bowl. Look at how yummy this looks.
We are all ready to move out of the dorms. Hey guys, what's up? As you can see, I'm back home now. It's been about a week since I last vlogged at the beginning of this video. We had a really good practice week at CBU. It was about six days, Monday through Saturday, of just really long, intense practices, and there just really wasn't much to vlog. So I hope you enjoyed the little snippets of the dances that we learned this week. We learned two, and we're bringing those to camp. But yeah, we just had really long practice days. I was really trying to be just like present in the moment, um, working really hard and just getting to see my teammates again and welcome the new rookies. I truly am like an introverted person. Like I do like my alone time to like recharge. As an introvert though, I do think it is still important that you bond with your team and are giving back to when I was a rookie, like the vets were super welcoming to me. So I thought, as a vet now, I'm an upperclassman, I'm going into my junior year at CBU, I thought I would be very welcoming to the rookies that are staying in the dorms with me this week, because not everyone is staying in the dorms for that last week at CBU, some people were just commuting, but there was probably like a good 10 of us, I think, and like quite a few rookies were staying on campus in the dorms for that week so I wanted to make sure that they have like food because some of them were out of state so I like took some girls to Target um I would like take them out to dinner and like eat with them and get to know them help them with their dances if they needed help like with any of the choreography and like all that but yeah I think just showing love to others and like giving back, like doing something as simple as just driving the rookies to dinner or to Target to get food. Like that's not something that like you would think is a huge deal, but like things like that, like the little things matter in life. And like people will remember that later. Like they'll look back on you and be like, oh, especially when it's a first impression. Like these are rookies, like they're meeting me for the first time this week. Like I think I left a good impression on them, I hope. And I think they'll look up to me this year of being like a good leader on team. And yeah, it was a really great practice week and I'm really excited for Vegas. It's actually going to be my first like dance camp in Vegas because my freshman year at CBU, we didn't have a camp at all because of COVID. And then second year, um, they had two. They had one in Vegas and one in Anaheim, I think. And so we went to the Anaheim one. So it was still cool. Honestly, I think it's going to be pretty much the same in Vegas versus Anaheim because you're just in a hotel for like four days of dancing and you don't have any like free time really like these college dance camps are truly intense our coach like calls it like a business or work trip because we're there to get a bid and we have two dances that we're bringing to vegas and we're like competing them and hopefully that we'd score well on them so that way we're given like a bid and like a certain amount of money that helps us go to competitions so yeah, it's truly like a work business trip. Like we have a goal in mind, we're gonna accomplish that goal and that's all we're worrying about. Like obviously Vegas is so fun. Like I think in the past they've gone to like Cirque du Soleil or like a nice fancy team dinner. If you know me, you know I don't drink or like party. I've never done any of that. It's not interesting to me. And I mean no judgment, like it's all love. Like you're free to do whatever you want, not just like my beliefs and what I have as my morals. But yeah, I think Vegas is gonna be a fun time regardless really excited to dance um but yeah i'll try and vlog a little bit more in vegas i know it's gonna be even longer practice days it's gonna be like 9 a.m to like 12 at night so i'm not sure how much i'll be able to vlog but i'll try my best because i really want to cherish these moments and look back and like see how much fun i had and how blessed i am so anyway stay tuned for vegas